It is Wednesday, 5.32 p.m. Or some would say, fourth day, 5.32 p.m. Now, I want to talk about this rare phenomenon, bomb cyclone, for today. It's interesting how they write about it as if today was in the past already. Everywhere that would be hit by the storm, how much would fall as far as like the the rain um, that got turned to ice because of the winds and the temperature dropping and then the icy snow um, mixed with chemtrails and everything else is mixed with. Um, I just find it interesting how the day's not even over yet and the reports about how everything would plan out has been put up there early, early in the morning. Just interesting to me. Because when you read the report about it, um, how it touches up into the, you know, the, the southern or the higher plains and, you know, the some of the states that's around Colorado and stuff like that and Denver and all that. I just find it interesting, you know, how many people actually pay attention to It was up early this morning, all the details on what would happen, where it would happen, and, you know, how everything was going to come about to be. The day's not even over yet. And it's just, it's just the cyclone bomb. Cyclone bomb. Again, all this goes into geoengineering, weather manipulation, Project HARP. But it also goes back into, you know, the Most High is still in control. And um, he allows mankind to be their own destruction. Um, So as a tool of his indignation, um, there are things that they've been taught by wicked angels to do and build. um, Becomes man's undoing and theirs. Um, I woke up. Our lights were off. The whole complex of apartments in this area everybody's lights are off people are going to their cars to warm up um we had to put extra blankets and sheets and stuff over our windows in order to keep the air from coming through because of the wind was picking up like i had put my hand and my arm by the window when i was trying to see through it because the rain that was rain when it was raining early this morning when i had woke up it had frozen over um, as the wind was going, as the temperature was dropping. So it was actually coming through the cracks of the window, and I could feel the moisture coming up and hitting on my arm. So I had to find a way to protect our windows or, you know, our inside from getting too cold and stuff. So all of our windows are literally covered. Um... That's why it's so freaking dark in here, for one. I don't know if y'all can see anything really out here. I'm pretty sure it's just as dark looking. Maybe the light just didn't come on. Oh, it's facing me, that's why. So yeah, you can see how dark it is. You know, I had to put a sheet, that sheet's been there, but anyway. Had to cover up our windows. Back here, it gets darker. And you can listen to the wind. So you can see, ah, freaking window, man. It blew my, look at this. Blowing the freaking window out of place. So I gotta try to fix this. But that's what it look out, like outside if y'all can see it. I'm gonna try to get a close up. First, I'm to try to fix this freaking window. 
too much air coming in. Hold on a minute. The fire alarm finally went out. I haven't heard anything from it all day. Like, Ding! So, no power. Yet power. Lights. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a step outside and see what it'd be like. Yeah, what we're going to do right here. As soon as I find another freaking sock to put on. <laughs> 